you have a 2015 or newer Fox 36 or a Marzocchi Bomber Z1 and want better performance and more adjustability? Don't worry, you don't have to drop $1,000 or more on a new fork to get that. In this video, we're going to interview the new Grip 2 damper and three of the other most common Fox dampers to show that you can cheaply and easily upgrade your fork's damper for better performance and save yourself some money by doing so. There's been several different types of dampers that Fox has offered in their 36 line of forks, but in model year 2019, the Grip 2 damper was released and by far has been their best performing damper to date. Today I'm lucky enough to be joined here in the Lost Coast Studios with three of the most popular dampers from Fox 36s. We've got the Grip 2 damper. Hello everybody, I'm Grip 2. Thanks for having me, Mike. The Fit 4. Hey everybody, Fit 4 here. Thanks for having me. And the Grip. Hi, hi everybody, thanks for having me. The RC2 damper retired a few years ago, so we're gonna be doing a live video stream with him. Now let's get a little bit more information on these dampers here with me. Let's start with you, Grip2. Tell us a little bit of something about yourself. Hey everyone, I'm the Fox Grip2 damper. I'm super sensitive and super adjustable. I'm a semi-sealed damper and don't use an expanding bladder like most others, so oil flows in and out of me freely. This means my seal tolerances don't have to be super tight, which results in less stiction and a more consistent and fluid movement. Also, without an expanding bladder, I require less maintenance. Fox even designed a new PTFE oil for me to make sure I'm always nice and slick. I love long downhills, and I don't mind being tortured. I'll be there to cradle you when things get rough. I'm confident with myself, and I think you'll really like me. Wow, Grip2, you sound pretty awesome, but I think that we should also let these other dampers talk and tell us a little bit about what they have to offer. Okay, now like I said, RC2 retired a couple years ago, so we've got a live video call from Florida. Hi, RC2, how are you? How's the weather out there? It's real sunny and warm here. Love the show, Mike, and thanks for having me. Oh, thanks, RC2. That means a lot coming from you. Now, we haven't seen you in a couple years, and I think that the viewers would like to learn a little bit about how you used to work. Yeah, hi, I'm the Fit RC2 damper. I was the top tier damper through model year 2017 till that stinking Grip 2 damper took over, and I was retired. You could adjust my low speed rebound, low speed compression, and high speed compression. I had a reputation for riding pretty harsh, but that's just because I grew up in the streets of New York. But I'll be honest, I rode pretty stiff, and people sometimes said I hurt their hands. But if you ask me, they're just being wusses. I read the forums, and people seem to think that the new Grip 2 damp has opened up damping circuit, rides a lot more smooth, and they seem to like that new high-speed rebound adjustment, too. I'll have to admit, that Grip 2 damp rides a lot better than me. No worries, though. I'm retired down here in Florida now, and I can chill on the beach all day long. Thanks so much for your honesty, RC2, and enjoy that retirement. Thanks, Mike. Now, let's talk to our next guest, the Fit4. Yo, what's up? I'm the Fox Fit4 damper. I like to keep things simple, and I really enjoy long trail rides. Well, I can handle some abuse. Long, rough rides aren't necessarily my thing. My construction is pretty much the same as the RC2 damper with an expanding bladder. My adjustments are nice and simple though, with low speed rebound on the bottom and a three position switch on top to firm things up with an adjustable open mode. If I'm too squishy on the trail, you can even lock me out to make me nice and stiff. I was recently redesigned in 2019 to be less harsh, but still that new Grip 2 damper requires less maintenance than me and will be way more plush and adjustable. All right, so it sounds like the Fit4 is an easy to adjust damper, but what about you, Grip? Tell us about yourself. Hey, I'm the Grip damper. Nope, I'm not the Grip2, just the Grip damper. They mainly stuff me in the OEM Fox Forks and in the Marzocchi Bomber Z1. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but hey, I, I work pretty freaking good, I promise. The Grip2 is my big brother, and, and we work really similar. We're both semi-sealed and use that slippery PTFE oil. People tend to love me because I'm plush and smooth, but sometimes I'm just not the best option. I also lack all those fancy adjustments and you can only tinker with my low speed rebound and low speed compression. Don't worry, Grip Damper, lots of people are still loving you and enjoying riding you out on the trails. Now let's give a round of applause to all of these sweet dampers making it down to the Lost Coast studio for this interview. Now let's talk about compatibility.
If you've got any Fox 36 from model year 2015 or newer, or the Marzocchi Bomber Z1, then you can easily upgrade your fork stamper to the new Grip 2. Currently, Marzocchi is owned by Fox, so many other parts are interchangeable, one of which is the damper. The Bomber Z1 actually has a stiffer chassis than the Fox 36, so if you put a Grip 2 damper in a Z1, you effectively just have a stiffer, burlier Fox 36. Grip 2 dampers can be used from 130 millimeters to 180 millimeters of travel. Real quick, if you click this link up here, you're gonna go over to our ultimate Fox Fork service video, which does show a Grip2 damper install. Installation is super easy since this is just a drop-in cartridge. And do note that the grip style dampers from Fox do require that PTFE infused five weight suspension oil, which is absolutely mandatory when installing a grip damper in your fork. You technically don't have to remove the lowers for install, but we would highly recommend it so that you can clean out the old oil from your previous damper out of your lower legs to avoid cross-contamination with that new PTFE infused style oil with the grip damper. Also, if you're wanting better performance from a new, more sensitive damper, it just makes sense to service your lowers at the same time with new oil and fresh grease in your dust wipers and even new dust wipers if yours are getting tired. This way you didn't just spend a couple hundred bucks on a sweet new damper just to be held back by sticky dust wipers. You don't technically need any proprietary tools to install the Grip 2 damper, although we would always recommend at least getting the proper top cap socket to remove your old one and install the new one. Fit4 dampers use a 28 millimeter, RC2 dampers use a 32 millimeter, and Grip dampers use a 26 millimeter top cap socket to remove them. And the Grip2 damper will use a 28 millimeter top cap socket for install. Also, while you've got your lowers dropped, now would be a great time to install a different air shaft to make your fork have longer travel if you'd like to. And also, it's a great time to add some more tokens into your air spring to have a little bit more bottom out resistance. All right, well, there you have it. A much more affordable way to get better performance out of your Fox 36 or Marzocchi Bomber Z1. If you guys have any specific questions about compatibility with your fork or anything like that, give us a call at the shop, 360-306-8827, or shoot us an email. <coughs> info at thelostco.com. Now, what do you guys think about the Grip2 damper? Have you ridden one and think it's worth the upgrade as much as we do? Drop a comment below this video and let us know what you think. Now, if you'd like to treat yourself to a Grip2 damper, click this link right here, go over to our website, thelostco.com, scoop up one of these bad boys, free shipping in the USA, we'll send it right to your door. And as always, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. And if you really like this video, click that subscribe button and hit that little bell notification so that you don't miss out on our future videos. Until next time, I'm gonna go to Florida and visit that RC2 damper because it's cold and rainy up here. Later.